Hello, hello, hello everybody. Good morning, good day and good night. Wherever, whenever you're watching my FM Signal show. My name is still Damir Galich from Good Old Germany. And right here, right now, I'm giving you another trading capability today. Central European time, of course. Uh, I'm choosing the dollar gen. So, analyze the stuff again. It's still yours. US dollar, Japanese gen. Okay, here we are and let's go. Here's the dollar gen, uh, the cross rate from the Cowboys and Samurais if you want. It's uh, Thursday, the 26th, if I'm not wrong, yes, 26th January 2012, 13.52, <coughs> excuse me, Central UN time, or 7.52 in the morning, New York time, or 21.52 in the evening in Tokyo. So welcome again. And I'm choosing here the 50 minute charts. Uh, let me say, say uh, if you wanna get an overview, uh, let's get a view of my YouTube account I'm creating before two weeks, if I'm not wrong, yes, here, two weeks on the 5th January 2001, a longer view. So from the longer, uh, from the uh, longer or larger perspective, long-term perspective, yes, it's a very interesting, uh, interesting uh, technical uh, point right here right now. But I'm, I want to still uh, give you an outlook for the next 48 hours. So if you want to get an overview or better understanding for this trade. Please watch this again, if or remember. Uh, yes, don't forget the bigger view. Okay, here are the 50 minutes charts, and we see here this ups, ups, uh, uprise, pretty uh, long-term uh, long signal. But uh, yes, we've got the FOMC meeting, and the uh, traders were I don't know. Uh, but they sell it. They sell the cross rates, the dollar gen after that. And uh, yeah, it's the question is uh, how it will uh, how it will get in the future. I don't know, of course. But uh, I want to give you today even an outlook for the end of the week, even for the 48 hours next. Okay. Before we start it, uh, one moment please. Okay. Oh, it's pretty fresh here. Okay, my little office. However, let's go. Before we started with technical analysis, perhaps uh, I'm creating here uh, the trading sessions for better understanding. And we see here, uh, or we can here see yesterday while the US session uh, uh, sell off. The day before, uh, uh, I couldn't uh, identify it, uh, a trend. Sometimes you can find in some cross trades, while some session, some session are more bullish or bearish. But uh, this in this cross rate, I couldn't identify one. Perhaps you see more than I am. Than I am. 
here in the last days. Six and a half hour uh, durable goods. Of course, hard facts from the US economy. We will see if we see higher prices, little higher prices, of course. Uh, the industrial production is a little bit growing the last time, perhaps the durable goods too, then, then should also a little bit rise the inflation data and of course the consumer and more jobs and so long so long that should be the best scenario and should help the dollar. But we will see, we will see and much more important is of course how we, I mean we traders or everybody which are trading this cross pair or the dollar, how will react then what the data will be. So perhaps we should zoom a little bit, yes, here. And we see here yesterday while well, the press conference sell off, then a little bit reaction, but uh, uh, yes, in the last 24 hours a little bit more bearish than bullish but in the overview intraday the chart looks pretty well in my opinion one moment okay so here we see here something like a button and then here something like a great upside trend um, uh, so here I'm created and we are trading own it trading around about it and that's all also the reason why I'm choosing this chart if we see this the upside trend of course you can take take it also here but uh, I'm creating here and we are right here right now pretty here pretty above it and it looks very interesting because uh, here was a resistant resistant then uh, the upside moves then a support fails up and uh, yes high speculative of course here's something like so be a fails breakout how to say in English yes from a technical view and perhaps uh, this trend line will be still walking and that could be a great uh, yes, could be a great short, uh, great long opportunity from the short time view. Yes, for the, even for the next for this week until the end of the week. Here I'm creating two my lines too. Here we see after the first resistant, uh, after the first resistant, we yes we go lower, lower, and then uh, yes break out, he, and here. Uh, Massive breakout, see, and even in the last days or the last hours, come on, see here, uh, here, yes, here a breakout to down, and now we are trading also above it. So it looks like an, how do you say, V, yes, a V in, Eng in English formation. So it could be a great long. Uh, opportunity from the short view but of course don't forget the numbers in the next half hour yes oh, of course here the short view here we see if we zoom and uh, yes only saw this above here we see this outbreak here and here this fails breakout I'm creating here the high after the outbreak of this uh, major trend line here and then we uh, we see here a shoulder head shoulder formation turn around formation and here this shorter view so uh, you can in this timeline use if you want here you can argue here on the on the free time frame here the longer time frame the upside trend on the on the middle time frame here shoulder head shoulder and on the short time frame here this fall formation so we've got three, three options from technical view and yes the question is of course 
which would be yes uh, which will work i would prefer the long side even i'm thinking this upside trend uh, yeah the question is if is this upside trend and this short trend against this these traders if you want of these bulls against these bears if you want so we will get we will get however and squeeze out and when the data comes out so i would prefer the long side i would but i would uh, take shots uh, or short stops if you ask me we are trading here right here right now 14.02 central European time or eight o'clock in the morning new york time at 77.6 so i would create a stop no a little bit higher than pips so yes here about 70 75 10 pips or 100 pips however uh, if you're trading however your margin is and i would prefer the long side here the break out of this uh, is realistic that would be great which would be great and give us much more room until the end of the week but analyze the stuff again it's still yours however and be prepared of the data today of course tonight we will have also data from japan one moment perhaps in the end yes in the end cpis uh, will of course have also influence okay that's for all today uh, yes take care take respond i will create tonight after new york session time also a video for the last 24 hours so analyze this stuff again it's still yours I'm all and out.